for joining me. My name is Grandmaster Rod Petit. I am a former middleweight champion of the world in full contact karate and eight degree black belt. And I have trained over 500 students to the level of black belt. And with a little hard work and effort, you too can become one of them. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the, the belly pump. Now, in our, in our system, the basic arsenal for white belt level is the reverse punch, which we took a look at at our first video, and then the back of the fist strike, which we took a look at at the second video. Now we're going to take a look at the belly punch. The belly punch is called uh, the belly punch, obviously, because you'll be striking exclusively to the belly with this strike. Now, unlike the reverse punch, the reverse punch tendency is to start with the palm up and then you reverse it by throwing it over like this. This is why they call it a reverse punch. The reverse punch is a lot more power than a powerful than a belly punch because of the locking action. So it's, you're effectively locking a piece of bone between you and an assailant. Also, you're rolling the, the knuckles over, causing a tearing or ripping sensation on dry skin. And of course, you're hitting with the first knuckle. Okay, so that's the reverse punch. For further information on the reverse punch, please refer to that first video. The second punch was the back of the fist strike. And remember, we said that you're really not striking with the back of the fist because there is a potential for damaging the bone if you do it a head-on strike with that. So what you're doing is really striking with the first two knuckles on that strike. But for reference pur uh, purposes, it's easy to relate to the strike if we say it's a back of the fist strike. Because remember, you're really hitting with the first knuckle. Now, we're going to be taking a look at the belly punch itself. The belly punch is done by folding the fingers up like this. Remember, you don't make your fist extremely tight. You keep it so that it, a, a pencil can go through it so that it will impact the fist if you close tightly. You then pull it in and turn it over. Now, on the strike itself, the arm is going to extend and then come back quickly. So it jots out. It doesn't lock. That's a lock. It jots out. It goes out and back quickly. Now, the, the power in the belly punch comes from the sudden twist of the body when you're doing the strike. So when I'm doing the belly punch, I'm going to suddenly jerk and throw my body forward like this. That is where I'm getting the power from my belly punch. Other than that, it's done exactly like the other two punches with the twist there. Okay, so I'm going to call in my assistant for today, Mrs. Madison, and we're going to briefly review the reverse punch, the back fist, and then add to the workout. Remember, these workouts are designed to be built on, so we're building up our stamina with each new technique and improving our endurance. Face the front, we go to a June B position, June B where Playing our body, it's ready. It's time for us to take control of it and do the exercise. Left hand goes out. So use that to your right hand. Pull your left hand in. And remember, we're working on the reverse punch first. We'll do about twelve of these. Ready? Punch! I punch! I punch! I punch! I punch! I punch! and the strength of the leg, we start to move into the horse stance as we punch. Pick it up. One, step, two, step, three, step, four, step, one, step, two, step, three, step, four, step, one, step, two, step, three, and four. Okay. Now we're going into our increased coordination drills with the changing of the stances. 
So we start with a defensive stance. Remember, when we're sparring, the goal is to defend and protect these areas so that they can't be scored on and you lose a match. So you start by turning your body sideways. We're going to use a cross step forward. Cross step up, cross step back. Cross step up, cross step back. Okay? Now we're going to do the punch moving forward and moving back. Ready? Cross step punch. Aya! Cross step back. Aya! 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 Cross step punch. Aya! Cross step back. Very good. Now we're going to move quickly through the back of the fist strike. All right, ready? The back of the fist starts with the elbows being up. And remember, it's a flipping, snapping technique. We'll do about 12 of these. Ready? One, I, two, I, three, I, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make sure at home that you're following along with my assistant and or myself. Ready? So now we're going to do the shifting in the horse stance. So we we'll start to the right, about 10 to 12. Ready? Go. One. I have two. I have three. I have four. I have one. Going to look like it's going to be back fist 
belly punch, reverse punch. Then we're going to step back and go back fist, belly punch, reverse punch. Ready? Go. Aya, 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 go. 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 Very, very good. Okay. So now karate would not be karate without the kick. So earlier in an, in an earlier video, we took a look at the front kick, and we learned that we snap straight with the kick. So before we actually do the add the kick with the punches, we're just going to warm our bodies up. Okay? So when I say go, I want you to do the snap kick with the right leg, then the left leg. Ready? Go! Aya! Other leg. Go! Aya! 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 Very, very good. Okay. Now, karate improves your ambidexterity. Ambidextrous is the ability to use both hands equally as well, which means if I can write with my right hand, I should be able, if I'm ambidextrous, to write with my left hand. If I can hammer a nail with my right hand, if I'm ambidextrous, I can hammer a nail with my left hand. And we do that by changing sides. So with the kick, that's going to give us a good way to work on our ambidexterity. Watch. The first combination is going to be the front kick followed by the reverse punch. Okay? So when I say go, we're going to do about 10 to 12. Go. Aya! Aya! Go. Aya! Aya! Go. Aya! Aya! Go. Go! 